Hello, my name is Sirku Johala and I will be talking about the effects of air pollution on ecosystems. I will focus on two issues in particular. The first one is ecosystem susceptibility to air pollution and the second one is urban ecosystems and agroecosystems and how air pollution is manifested in them. The earth includes a multitude of ecosystems that cover the whole globe. These can be harmed by human activities that introduce different stresses to the environment. This includes air pollution. The identification of possible adverse outcomes is very important as these stresses can alter the essential structures and functions of an ecosystem. Here is an illustration of ecosystem complexity. This is a fishing ecosystem that also includes human activities. Ecosystem composition is a listing, a taxonomy of every living and non-living part of the ecosystem. Ecological structure is the manner in which all parts of the system are linked and connected to physical patterns. Finally, ecosystem functions include cycl cycles of nitrogen, carbon, phosphorus that lead to biotic processes within the ecosystem. When stresses are introduced to the system, it can alter all three of these um, parts of the ecosystem. For example, with air pollution, this can lead to individual changes in individual living plants, which can, in the long term, affect the structure of the ecosystem and also alter the ecosystem functions. Assessing the severity of air pollution on ecosystems is important and it's characterized by the type of the stressor, the intensity, the scale of the effect, how much of the ecosystem is affected, and also the likelihood of an ecosystem to recover from the damage imposed by a single or multiple stressors. There are a number of scientific ways to assess the severity, and this can be done by either qualitative expert judgments or large quantitative field assessments that gather large samples which are then statistically analyzed. Here is a graph that illustrates the biological responses spectrum. It shows the level of injury over concentrations and time. For some time, you can have no significant effect. If level of injury and concentration over time is low. However, after a while, there can be effects on the nutritional value of the plant. For example, reduced enzyme levels. Over time, if concentrations and injury are higher, effects get worse and eventually can lead to death of the plant. In terms of, of some plants, this can, for example, lead to visible symptoms, and these are deviations from normal healthy appearance of the leaves, to deviation to dis tissue collapse and various degrees of loss of color. Extensive tissue collapse or necrosis results from injury to the spongy or palatal cells in the interior of the leaf and eventually lead to death. The impact of air pollution on urban ecosystem is an increasingly important topic. This is because most people now live in cities and urban ecosystems dir directly contribute to the physical and mental well-being of city dwellers. Urban ecosystems are subjected to more severe stresses with regards to air pollution than their rural counterparts. Sulfur dioxide and coal smoke remain a growing problem in the developing countries but increasingly the modern pollutants in the form of nitrogen oxides, ozone and fine particulate matter, PM10, are also a problem and continue to be in the developing countries. These cause major problems for urban vegetation. The effects of air pollution on urban ecosystems can be either acute or chronic. Acute effects result from exposure over a relatively short time and these are often manifested in the form of visible symptoms on the plants or animals. Chronic injury is injury that gathers over a longer period of time, and this is often manifested as a reduced growth or yield, and it often leaves no clear visible symptoms. There are also a range of secondary impacts, which include altered sensitivity to other stresses and changes in soil chemistry and microbiology that in turn affect the plants that are growing in urban ecosystems. Secondary impacts include changes in sensitivity, 
invariably in the form of increased damage due to natural abiotic factors, such as drought and frost, and biotic factors in the form of pest attack or pathogen infestation. Finally, the impact of air pollution on agroecosystems is increasingly an important topic in developing countries where many people grow agricultural crops within the city center. There is strong evidence to show that air pollution within and close to a medium-sized city can have significant impacts on the yield of important food crops. For example, analyses of experimental plants indicate reductions in nutritional quality when plants have been exposed to sulfur dioxide or nitrogen oxide concentrations. This affects the weed seed, seed's total sugar, starch, and energy content, um, leading to lower nutritional qualities. Air pollution can result in reduced yields and lower nutritional value, which can further have serious implications for the health of the urban poor who often rely on agricultural crops grown in the cities.